Welcome to the House of Change with Yin Kaola Williams. The five minute weekdays capsule. The Apothecary starts now. The title of today's podcast is Run, It's Your Race. Anthony Robbins, in his book Awaken the Giant Within You, wrote about an African adage which says, Every morning the gazelle wakes up, it must outrun the fastest lion or it becomes the prize breakfast. So also, every morning the lion wakes up, it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will go to bed hungry. Whether you are a lion or a gazelle, the king or the servant, the rich or the poor, the rude and the ruler, it does not matter your gender, religion, race or creed. Everyone seems to be pretty running. The question we then need to answer on a daily basis without ambiguity is why are you running is something or someone chasing you or you are chasing after something or someone everyone is running but tragically most people don't even know why they are running they just run run and run because everyone was running it does not matter how well and how fast you can run If you don't know where and what you are running into, you will run forever. It will become a marathon without a finish line. You need to find your race, understand your course, and know the finish line. Why not sit down first to calculate and articulate your race before you start something you can't unstart once you started it? successful people have clear pictures of their own race they have aims and objectives for running they stay within their own race and not running others race the race of life or the race for life is a race only you can run by yourself people can advise or assist you some can vilify or criticize you but ultimately it's your race and only you will run it for yourself or you remain in one sport my dear it is a non-transferable responsibility however much you love your wife you cannot go to labor on her behalf or else she would never be called a mother have you not noticed that some seem to come and run in this world and all they did was run throughout their lifetime and that was where it all ended nothing afterwards the only record available is that they ran nothing else i still remember vividly a line from a stage play at the university of lagos several years ago i can't remember the name of the playwright but the title of the play was Epitaph for Simon Kisulu in the play. When Simon Kisulu finally died, on his epitaph was an inscription that reads, Here lies the remains of Simon Kisulu, who died trying to leave. From pillar to post, fly to London, on train to Lisbon and sail to Lusaka. You can still return broke, worn out, indebted and arrived at Kuhu de Sac. You then see some who will do little running and they brought much more abundantly. It also then suggests that often in life, the race is not about being swift, smart or strong alone. It also involves good timing and access to opportunities. Everyone has a time. May today be your time and this is your time. A time you will find opportunities that are bound everywhere. Thank you for listening to today's podcast of House of Change with Yinkala Williams. We would like to hear from you. For support or inquiries, call 08092259966 or email yinkaolawilliams at gmail.com. Check our Facebook page on www.facebook.com slash HOC with Yinkaola Williams or follow us on Twitter hashtag Williams. This program is a Change Studios production. Change is constant. Only those who change can take charge.